And here's another example of how to use Dalton's law or the partial pressures of gases to calculate the partial pressure of oxygen or methane in a sample of dry air. Now here I've given you some components of dry air, the most important ones, the ones that are found in the greatest abundance. There's a whole bunch more coming after that, but this is enough for now. And notice that nitrogen is by far the, the biggest constituent of dry air. Following that is oxygen, and after that is argon. Those three together definitely form more than 99% of all the gases in the air. After that, we have carbon dioxide. Notice that uh, here was listed as 0.0379. Uh, this is uh, percent. This is in percent of uh, the total. Of course, carbon dioxide is slowly creeping up, and it's now reaching the 0.04% range of the volume of uh, the constituent in the air. We have then neon, helium, and then at the end here we have uh, methane. So let's try to calculate the partial pressure of oxygen and the partial pressure of methane if, this is the, uh, if these are the constituents of dry air. So the partial pressure of oxygen gas as a percentage of the total is equal to the number of moles of oxygen gas as the fraction of the total, and I should say T, not 2 total. And also, notice that we also found out that it's equal to the ratio of the volume taken up by the constituent, like oxygen, divided by the total volume. And so since we have the volume of these constituents expressed in, um, I should say, the, the abundance of these constituents expressed in terms of the percentage of the total volume, then we can see that these numbers really represent the partial pressure, the partial volume, and the partial number of moles, all the same as the percentage of the total, which means that these numbers also represent the partial pressure. So that means the partial pressure of oxygen gas in the atmosphere would be equal to 20.946% of the total pressure. And since at STP conditions total pressure is one atmosphere, this would therefore be equal to 20.946% of one atmosphere, or this is equal to 0 0.20946 atmospheres. All right, likewise, we can do the same for methane. So the partial pressure for methane that would be CH4, is equal to the abundance, which is 0.0002% of the total pressure, which is equal to 0.0002% of one atmosphere, which is equal to 0 0.00002% atmospheres. So that's how you do that. Fairly straightforward. So anytime you come up on, a, up on a table where they give you the amount of each gas in a mixture of gases and the amount of each gas is expressed in terms of volume or percentage of the total volume, then you can simply take that number and say that also represents the percentage of the total pressure. So therefore it represents the partial pressure of each constituent in that gas. And that's how you do that.